All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Still Wakes the Deep. Last time we went through the pontoons area and we uh, found Roy's insulin. And now we need to go find Roy and hope he hasn't been eaten by whatever. And uh, I think we're going to, based on the how long to beat time of four and a half hours, I bet you we can beat the game on this video, I bet. Even if we have to go a little bit long. Let's see. <clears throat> what is all this? Jesus Christ. Well, this looks like it might be the end. Look at all this shit. Find Roy. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta find Roy. Jesus. It's moving out the other place. I mean, this is bad. This right here is not good. <laughs> Not good. I mean, I must be happy. Thank Christ. Roy! this is bigger than the oil rig. Now we got a we got an, a, a a world threatening issue now. Talk to me, big man. It's like it's opening a dimension to hell. Come on. <clears throat> hey, I got that insulin wake for up, you, bud. Wake. Please wake up. Wake up! Come on. Is it just the insulin? I don't know what happens if people don't get their insulin. Oh, is he dead? <clears throat> that sucks. Just give him the shot. Doesn't he have to put it uh, in his stomach or something? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I would try it. <clears throat> I mean, she's gonna fucking kill me, man. Are you sure he's dead? She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did the girls. <clears throat> Wait, what were they tell me? <laughs> Why don't you worry about yourself, man? Let's not put the cart before the horse here. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? <clears throat> Shh. There's still monsters outside. Oh, we get it, okay, but let's not be dumb. Alright, so he's definitely dead. Well, he's got a kilt on and everything. Doing it up right. Guys, legit from head to toe. Oh. Okay. Who's this? I'd like Kaz. You got to know he's good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to admin, so how can they get to marine control? You need to try and get there from where you are, alright? Jesus. Aye. And that English bastard better come and off. You can't stay in that hut forever, no? He's dead. Hey, you need to say something or they're going to think that you're dead. They're going to assume that you're dead. Sounds like we still have more to do, which is fine. I'm enjoying this game. Get to Marine Control. <clears throat> I 
climb. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe not, man. I wouldn't try. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. <clears throat> All right, fine. Are you gonna let allow me to go forward? Ooh, that's a really thin set of monkey bars. I don't like that. What's all this, man? What is all this? Whatever it, it is, it is not good. None of this is good. I guess that's a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> what what's happening over there? Oh god. What? Did we Did we get hurt? Did we get cut or something? <clears throat> Quit looking down, dum dum. It's amazing that this rig is even still up. I mean, it is torn to shreds. All right, here we are, Marine Control. Jesus, fuck. I mean, you gotta, you gotta put a bullet in him, right? I mean, oh well, you don't have a bullet, but you got that crowbar on you, right? Right into the head, man. I mean, it's mercy and it's safety. Okay. Finley, I'm at Marine Control. I'm, uh, I'm not alone. Fuck! Is that that bastard Renick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Gas. Listen to me, alright? Listen. Alright. We need to keep it together. <coughs> just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. Ballast operations I panel. I put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. Alright? Uh, alright. Tell me the whole thing right now. Who knows if the phones will work in ten minutes? Set ballast control to manual. Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. Christ, it's way above my pay grade, this. Tension leg cable controls must be disabled before using these switches. Ensure all personnel have left pontoon areas before using switches. Okay. It's locked. Oh, shit. Aye, there's a key. That's all I needed to hear? That there is a key? That the key exists? Oh. It's alright, pal. Here we go. I'll look after this now, alright? Keep him... 
Uh, well, he's stronger than me, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay. But, um, I mean, why are we not killing that guy? We gotta figure out a way to put him out of his misery for... For two reasons. Two very big reasons. It is the humane thing to do, and it is the safe thing to do. We got we got a crowbar. Just beat his head in. <laughs> I would do it. I think I could do it. Oh, call Finley again. Right, right, right. Switch is a manual. Who's next? Hold on a minute. The pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? <coughs> Is he not down there? He'll be out of there by now. He's done his part. We just have to do ours. Right? All right. It's coming for me. Yeah, I heard you. You asked. Hang on. Nah, that's the way. Oh. Aft pontoon? Nah, that's the way. Oh, forward pontoon. I would have flooded the whole place. Right. Back to <clears throat> this guy is going to come after us at some point, I guarantee it. It's obvious. What do you mean, that's it? Fucking eyes! See? Not the whole one half at all, eh? Oh, thank Christ, finally. What now? <clears throat> 1.82%. Rebalance the bar- 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 Yeah. Yeah. That was overdue. Finley and drill ops. <clears throat> All right, start swimming. now. Survive the flood? It's Halo! The flood is here? We're in trouble. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, oh Jesus, oh Christ, okay. I can't see shit. Oh 
they're alive still. <clears throat> hey, weren't we just here? Run, motherfucker! Run! This guy has no fucking survival instincts. Swims as slow as I would. Uh, what just happened? Up, up and over, motherfucker. Up! Are you serious? Oh, this is just a... Okay, this is just some place I can breathe then. Alright, where are we going? Alright. Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? I was just thinking the same thing. Uh, Alright, how much further? Well. Where are we going? Oh, here we go. Took, that took a long time. I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, we took a breath there? That worked? Uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm dead, probably. Oh, God, I can't believe I made it out. Up, ah, idiot! Controls are finicky when it comes to gripping and swimming. It really is. They, they really are. It's okay. What? What do you want? I'm busy! I'm trying to outrun water here. It's not exactly easy. Oh my god. Yeah, you're hallucinating. I would assume I was hallucinating and I would just go ahead and... Hang that phone up. What are we? Okay. All right. Well. Oh. I thought the water was rooms filling up again. Yeah, run, motherfucker, run. God damn it. <laughs> we are never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> I mean, God knows where we're going now. I mean, I would assume I was dead at this point. But, yep, this is it. Had a good run. Jesus. Think about it. Think about it. How in the hell? What? I mean, we fell a good ways down, so what are we doing now? It's fucking Rennick, isn't it? Keep going away. Keep running, fucker. Why are you turn I'm I'm trying to run. I guess this is as fast as I can go because of the water. Okay. 
Okay. You, you bitch. You deserve death, and you know it. Which way is up? Okay, we are going the right way. Point seven five. The drowning of Dave defeated Rennick. Let's go. Real operations. Finley, thank fuck. Finley. Finley! Oh no. What's going on? Are you... Who are you talking to? Oh, she's losing her mind. Hey! Don't turn your back on her. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. Uh, I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. No way. I'm sorry. Wait, let's... You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas. It, it's no possible. You got your dive gear? Aye. So you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I mean, you could fucking try. I the rest when I came down here. Fuck. You as well. Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm. I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear, peaceful. Is he losing his mind or is he just trying to be positive? Everything's fine. Might be both. Might be both. Is that why Finley's despondent? Because he knows she knows that Brody's da dead, or, or about to die, or whatever. How many people have I listened to die today? <laughs> There have been, I've at least, there's been at least four people that I've, that have died while on the phone with me. That is a recurring thing. Uh. Fucking about with the lakey and pontoons. I'm a whole male. 
Wo ist nur ein paar aus Tonnen im Monsters? Never once. Never fucking once. Have we tried to do what needed to be done? What does that take down the monsters? I was wondering with that lighter, I was, was going to say just a second ago, don't, don't, be careful with the lighter. There's, there's oil and gas like everywhere. Finley, yeah. wait a minute, Give me a Jesus. Fucking... Come back, you're not thinking straight. That's it. I'm seeing that you're there Well, how did Finley get... Oh. Boy, she can really move for being me-shaped. Why the hell do you want me to go down there? Oh shit, um... Oh, you're fine. Give me a fucking break. What do you, roll your ankle? Put some, rub some dirt on it. <laughs> Thank God for the... Captions in this game. Monster killer before she gets there. I'm not going down in a ball of fire. I'm without a fight. Damn, this is like that part in, uh, that Modern Warfare game. Was it the most recent one where you're on a... Yeah, I think it's Modern Warfare 3, where you're on the boat and all the shipping containers keep, like, moving. You, they can squish you. Oh, it's a bug. Her hair keeps disappearing. Kind of ruining this awesome moment, but whatever. There's got to be a ship coming. You said it yourself. Christ, God. We don't want them coming. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry for it. I don't know what to do. What is it, guys? What do you mean? We can get back. We can get back. Can There's no going to stop by us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once in your life, <clears throat> be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself, but you can save them. Jesus, Finlay. You want to leave it a chance? If it gets to the mainland, oh, you know I'm right. I'm always fucking right. Oh Christ! Jesus. Pretty good point. <clears throat> Although, if there was a clear way out of here, I'm not sure I wouldn't take it. I would at least think about it. Keep your hair on, Finley. We're gonna take care of it. Her hair just keeps disappearing. Oh, there it's back. Oh, and it's gone. 
pretty unfortunate for such an important death scene. It's a little difficult to take it seriously when I keep flashing in and out of looking like a crash test dummy. This has got to be the end, right? I mean, what are we doing here? What's this? This can't be good. I think this has got to be the end. <clears throat> I mean, what did, is this? It's this is of the earth. Found this in the ocean because it seems alien. So is it like maybe it, maybe it was like a meteor that crashed in the ocean a long time ago or something? thought about waiting, but this is the good ending if we're sacrificing ourselves, so. What's all this? You don't recognize me, do you? No, sorry, love. You know me. You could say that. It's been a long time, though, Kaz. Hold up. Susan Lafferty, fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> <laughs> My swimming? Oh, the big man and drink. Jesus, Kaz. Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut up, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Is that bum pop? Are you not so bad yourself, all things considered? Marry me. You what? I'm serious. Marry me. Make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life here. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> my dad's eyes. I'm sorry, cuz. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Nah, fuck him. Bastard wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? You love Jenny's way, Cass. I'll never leave you, Susan. I'll be at your side forever. I'm always going to be here for this wind. Is that it? Is that credits? That would be a good place to stop. This has got to be a dream or a fantasy or something, right? Suze? Kiss the wings for me. Mm. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Suze. Oh, is this when he left? Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> is that credits? 
Hey, Kaz. I want those credits. I can't do anything. I just wanted to send you this. To see we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but <clears throat> he's a good man and I know he'll look after you. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Is this what a letter I didn't get? Keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. Or maybe the letter we hoped we got. <clears throat> that makes more sense. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. We weren't very safe though, were we? That's it. We did it. Let's go. Alright. Woo! Wow, what a ride. Alright, first things first. The bottom center of the screen says that we've beaten 58 games in 2024. And 505 since we started doing this in 2020. All lies. We've now beaten 59 games in 2024 and 506 since we started doing this. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to turn this down just a smidge. And we're going to talk about the ups and downs of Still Wakes the Deep. So, um... I think in order to assess this accurately, we have to talk about what it is. This is a, um, I wouldn't call it a walking sim, but it's, it does not have really, I wouldn't call anything in it puzzles. It's a lot of traversal. Sometimes you have to flip switches and stuff, but it's not puzzles. No mini games, nothing like that. It's, it's just traversal, a lot of ledge grabbing, a lot of swimming, a lot of, running, a lot of climbing. It's pretty much just that. Like, if you think about, like, Uncharted climbing mechanics, it's kind of similar to that, but in first person. And it's, like, a lot of that. That's, like, most of what the game is. You're running, you're hiding. Uh, you're not fighting. There's no combat. There's no inventory. There's no... Uh, nothing. Nope, not even any puzzle. So, normally, when I would say something like that, I would say, oh, well, you're talking about a walking sim, then. I wouldn't call this a walking sim because there's enough traversal and there is enough of a challenge with the traversal because there, you can slip off ledges and you have to hit buttons. There's like QTEs that it's not, it's not really, there's not a ton of QTEs in walking sims, right? So I would not call it a walking sim. I would say that it is a horror exploration game. Um, and uh, it is definitely a horror game. <laughs> it is horrifying. It is a scary game. I would say that it is definitely... I mean, it is full-on horror. And uh, I think that's the first thing that's really stands out about this game, is that it is genuinely scary. There is a horrifying uh, threat, and it is... And it's an interesting and very... I wouldn't call it a totally unique idea because it's definitely draws from a lot of horror movies that I've seen, but it is definitely interesting. Um, and it's definitely got its own take. Um, it's a little, it tweaks the formula a little bit. And the fact that the whole oil rig thing is terrifying. It really is. Uh, so I think that's a great idea. That's just the premise for this game is amazing. That the, the enemy type and the, the location is a great recipe. So that was well done. Um, <clears throat> I thought the story within that worked really well too. The, the person that you play as the conflicts that they're having in their personal life and then balancing that with all of the conflicts that are happening on the oil rig and all of the people that you meet through there. Uh, excellent. The voice acting in this game is real good. The, it's 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 not very often, even in a good horror game, where the voice acting really does a great job of playing fear and panic. And this game does an excellent job of that. The voice acting is top tier. It is scary. It is scarier when you can tell that the people that you're that are talking are scared. 
that is uh, clutch and underrated. Um, so, so that that they did a great job with the voice acting, and and the writing plays into that too. But uh, honestly, the writing is pretty bare bones. It's mostly just a bunch of people being scared the whole game, you know. So, um, so I would really put. I would say that the that the it really lies on the with the the acting itself rather than the writing. The writing's fine, but if you can't get people to play scared with that writing, it's worthless in a game like this. And they did a great job with that. I did have a couple of issues. There were some bugs, a couple of real dumb ones. Um, the the there were a couple of times where you'd get into a corner or you and it would do this thing where you were doing a falling animation even though you were standing on solid ground and you would go whoa 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 fuck oh no <laughs> that happened a, a cup two or three times. Uh, there was one time that I got stuck in the environment and had to reload from a checkpoint. Pretty standard stuff these days, unfortunately, for brand new playing games at launch. But it did happen one time where I had to completely restart from checkpoint. And I lost a little pro progress, whatever. And then uh, there was one bug toward the end that was really horrible during a very important scene. Very important scene. Very heavy scene. The person I'm talking to, their hair just kept disappearing. <laughs> Took me out of the scene entirely. Uh, so that was unfortunate. Uh, it, it wasn't horrible. I would give it a C. C plus on the bugs. It's pretty pr pretty standard to see bugs like that in a brand new game these days again, unfortunately. But that that's just the, the reality of the world we live in now. Uh, the only other thing that comes to mind as far as... Um, oh, uh, another positive. The waypoint system in this game is excellent. You have an option to turn it on or off. Don't turn it off. Keep it on. You are going to get lost in this game if you don't have a way system. Waypoint. The waypoint system... It's it's just just tells you where to go. Just puts a dot on the screen, whatever direction you need to head, and it's extremely important because in this game you do a lot of backtracking. You're in a lot of the same areas over and over again, and it would be. And I even got turned around even with the waypoint system a couple of times. Now there was a bug with the waypoint system where it wouldn't update, and so it would like tell me I need to go behind me when that was not true. That happened three different times, I think. But when the waypoint system is working, it is clutch. Um, so I, it didn't. The level design didn't bother me that much, because and it made sense within the context of the story. But beyond that, it didn't bother me that much because the waypoint system was so good. Um, the uh, traversal in this game is a little wonky. The ledge grabbing is mostly fine, but it's it works a little differently than any game I've played before if you're gonna if you have to climb up if you want if you want to engage with the ladder and then climb up it you have to hold hit the right trigger and then hold it the whole time you're climbing up or if you don't you'll just fall off the ladder that took a little getting used to and i, I don't think i loved it um it wasn't so there were a couple times when it was kind of finicky grabbing a ledge or whatever but swimming you have to swim a bunch in this game and it's not great the way that um the sprinting mechanic, whether you're running or swimming, you can barely even tell that you're sprinting. And so it's and it's a toggle thing. And so I would toggle it on and off and on and off. Like, am I am I running or not? And then I would die because something was chasing me or I would drown because I ran out of air, you know. So the, uh, the sprinting is they need to either speed it up or make it more clear somehow through the motion graphics or something that you are sprinting because it was not it was hard to tell. And then just the, the the swimming mechanic, it's just, it's it was very hard to tell which way was up. I drowned a lot of times, probably just swimming into a bottom corner, because it's very dark. And um, so I didn't love the swimming. Um, but all in all, though, I, I did really enjoy this game. Now, as far as where it's going to rank, it's not going to rank as super high because it doesn't have all the video gamey stuff that I like. There's no RPG mechanics. There's no mini, mini games. There's no puzzles. There's no, you know, inventory, resource management, none of that stuff. It's pretty bare bones when it comes to all that stuff. So, you know, it's more almost like a horror movie. Um, and it's not that much longer than one. It took me, I think, four hours. No, not even quite to beat it. Um, so... Um, it's pretty bare bones. I, I think of games like, um, when I think of where I'm going to rank a game like this, I think of games like Soma. It has a lot of the same stuff. 1.71% of people have gotten this far. 
Uh, I think of games like Soma, although Soma had more puzzles, it had more video gamey stuff in it. Um, without sprinting for more than 10 total minutes, really, because I didn't know how. Um, and uh, so uh, I think of games, like, I, I think it's definitely game better than a game like Fort Solace, which was a, uh, more of a walking sim type game that came out last year that had some ledge gra grabbing. And it was more of a kind of a horror psychological thriller, but the story wasn't nearly as good as this. It wasn't as scary. It wasn't scary at all. Uh, but I wouldn't say this is as good as something like um, The Quarry, or I'm just trying to think of horror games that I really like. Um, I don't think... Uh, Soma was a lot more intellectually interesting than this is. This is more of just like straight up cosmic... Maybe not cosmic, but straight up horror kind of... I guess it's more sci-fi than cosmic horror. Um, uh, but I, I did really enjoy it. I don't know where I'm going to rank it uh, yet, it's not my favorite horror game because again, there's not it's not crunchy enough for me. You know, Resident Evil games rank better than this because there's so much resource management and you know ex exploration stuff like that. This is very linear and very bare bones when it comes to all the video gamey stuff. But I did really enjoy it. I really did, and it was certainly worth the money since it was on Game Pass. All right, that's it. Last order of business. Um, still wakes the deep. It has been fun. Thank you for allowing us to enjoy you. But we are now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. Bye. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, that's it for Still Wakes the Deep. Um, just brief roadmap for the next few days in case you're interested. Today is June the 18th, so there was another game that came out today. It's called Hashtag Blood. I guess that's how you say it. It's like the pound sign and then B-L-U-D. And uh, so I'm going to play that. And then I just put another uh, game on my list that I found yesterday called Ever After Falls. That looks really interesting. Um, it's like a Stardew Valley. So how, I don't remember what hashtag blood is. I just thought it looked, I remember thinking it looked cool. It's like a Saturday morning cartoon looking thing. And then, uh, June 20th is, uh, yeah, so we'll buy that. Uh, oh, you know what? I shouldn't do this on, cause I think it's got my credit card information on there. <laughs> right, well, it doesn't have the whole thing, but uh, I'll do that later. Um, hashtag blood. And then. Ever After Falls is like a Stardew Valley type game, but it looks like it's got some kind of a horror bend or something based on the trailer, so that seems cool. Uh, and um, then we won't have another game until, uh, unless something else comes out, until another month when Nobody Wants to Die and Flintlock Siege of Dawn comes out. And after we beat these new games, we'll probably go back and play um, the Ninja Gaiden Master System game. I want to play that. I want to play... Um, well, there's a bunch of stuff I need to play. I need to play Titan Quest. I need to play GTA 4. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. We'll get to them soon. Alright, that's it. If you're still here and you watch the whole video, or even if you watch the very end, thank you. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. I will see you on the next one, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.